What's up, Facebook Live? Joe coming to you live here from Danbury, Connecticut. I'm overlooking the airport right here. We have some low-income housing over here to the left. I know that the Rizzo family is building over here. Rizzos are very big here in Danbury. Very high-level, high-integrity people. I went to school with Tony Rizzo. His father's a great builder here. Great family, great family man. Came over here at Ellis Island like the conversation I had with a guy yesterday. But I wanted to come out to you guys today and say halfway home day 183 of 366 and how we do things in this life jay silver is how we do everything p good to see you guys man happy thursday brother good to see you roberto halfway home half assing it halfway down half and every time we do shit halfway that's an issue that's the problem that's the pattern of not being enough georgia because we only go and play to our small self how many times you say, you know what? I'm at the gym right now. I don't feel like I want to be here. I'm just going to work out halfway. For you business owners out there, you know what? I don't want to work 15, 16 hour days. This is my, this is my birthday. I don't want to have to do this. It's a holiday. No. Never do anything halfway. Because how you do anything is how you do everything. Your relationships, oh, my wife doesn't want to be with me anymore. I'm working all the time. My girlfriend doesn't like me. My husband, he's always doing his thing with the boys, hanging out in the man cave. Doing it halfway in the relationships. Every time we do something halfway, it's poison for the mind, body, and soul. So in our bodies, our bodies break down. You see a lot of people going through health challenges right now. In our relationships, divorce is at 50%, probably a little bit higher now. In our spirit, we do it halfway there. We go to church on Sunday. I'm a good Christian. I'm going to go there. I'm going to check the box, but then they go out and they don't live the word. What else in life are we doing halfway? We're only halfway through Facebook Lives consecutively, 183 of 366. If I stop today, what do you think does that do to my psyche? What does it do in all of our psyches when we do things halfway? When we're not all in, John Mac, good to see you. Good to see you, Aaron. Happy Thursday. Coming to you live from Danbury, Connecticut. We took the eight-hour trek to go here and share some amazing love to my mom who's in some health challenges right now based upon decisions she made over her life. And that goes for all of us. We all have a choice talked about this a couple days ago you are the only mammal on this earth that has a choice so half-assing it in life half-assing it in your business half-assing it in your relationships half-assing it in your body eventually you're going to pay the price so today's message is don't half-ass it finish what you started finish what you started how many unfinished projects do you have around your house right now how many of you vacuum your house or sweep your house and then you leave a pile of garbage or leave the vacuum cleaner out without putting it away? How many of you go to bed with dishes in your sink? Half-assing it. All these things create that pattern of not being enough. So I come to you today with the intention to finish what you start. Don't half-ass stuff. Go all in. Go all in on you. Joe's not going to lift your load for you. No one's going to lift Joe's load. We have to carry our own load. We have to take ownership of the things that we created in this world. Good to see you, Cassio. We have to take ownership of the things in our lives. Everything that you see around you today, you put it there. You. Nobody else. So if you don't like your current reality... Now's the time to finish what you started. I'm heading over here to my former house. Start cleaning out the space. I think I'm going to have to rent a U-Haul truck to put a 14-foot boat in the back of it because the trailer's not registered. And then I can't get it registered because DMV's not open. So you adapt and adjust, throw it in the back of a 26-foot U-Haul, drive that bitch down to Virginia. Going up to New Milford, we got the permits all taken care of. We're taking down 200 sheets of sheetrock because we had a whistleblower saying, hey, these guys are working without a permit. Whatever it takes, we adapt and adjust. We do not stop. We don't willow in it. But know that whatever you send out into the universe 
will return to you. So be careful what you wish for. Don't do it halfway. Go all in on you. You deserve it. Your loved ones deserve it. That fulfillment that you will get from starting something and finishing it is that neurochemical addiction to get addicted to. Don't get addicted to not being enough. Based upon doing things halfway, get addicted to finishing what you start so you can feel good about yourself. You are this, the roadblock in your life. You've created these situations. If you want to uncreate them, join the Rise app. It'll hold you accountable. Today is day number 100 in the brotherhood. So all the brothers on the call today on the Inner Circle call, thank you for the insights. Day 100, we break everything down in 100-day increments. Just like in the Rise app, we break it down in 93-day increments. Break down your schedule into 93 days. Now you got three and a half years in one year. That's living life. That's fulfillment. That's finishing what you started. Set goals in the four areas of life. Reach those goals. Hold yourself accountable. Allow the people around you to help pull you forward. Don't get around the people that are going to push you down because you're succeeding. Get around the people that are going to push you harder, push you further than you would ever think you can go in your life. And Aaron knows all about this. Good to see you, Joe. Happy Thursday, day 183 of 366 consecutive Facebook Lives because we know who's going to pay the price just like all the veterans did as July 4th is rapidly approaching. All of us owe it a debt of gratitude to those that paid the ultimate sacrifice. As I said yesterday, that guy lost his father in the Vietnam War. He was going in there, taking out the wounded by helicopter. Special forces still out there fighting for our freedom. Now it's in business. Not putting his life on the line, but he's putting everything that he has on the line. So happy Thursday. I hope this message resonates with you because my intention for you is to go all in on you, finish what you start. That's feelings of not being enough, not having enough and playing the victim and blaming people for your current circumstance. It's you. You're to blame, nobody else. You have a choice. Start getting into the Rise app, start filling out your numbers, start reporting to the people around you because those people will lift you higher. If you haven't joined the Rise as One group, go to Rise as One group on Facebook and join that group. Aaron knows about this. Holding people accountable, sharing wisdom, sharing insights, sharing love, holding the space sometimes. Sometimes just hold the space. We don't have to fix everything. Just be heard. Gratitude is the action. Do it all the way. Because how you do anything, Aaron, is how you do everything. And if you half-ass it through life, you will half-ass it all the way to the point of not being enough. Playing a victim with a peasant mentality saying, woe is me. How come all these people have all this stuff? And I get it because that was me when I first started in corporate America. The boss was the enemy. The manager was the enemy. Then I became the manager. And then the, the higher-up boss was the enemy. Then I became the higher-up boss. And I realized, you know what? It was me. I'm the enemy. I am my own enemy. It's like all of us. Stop blaming people for your current circumstance. And go out there and make a daily progress. Get better than you were yesterday. That's all you have to do. So I salute all the veterans out there. Thank you for your service. Thank you for our freedom. I do not take that lightly. You will see me working on 4th of July, taking down sheets of sheetrock. Because I know when we clear the space and get this stuff off our plate here in Connecticut, we're going to bless a lot of people in Virginia with assisted living homes for veterans and for all those that require our services. Because that is doing God's good works. That's not just showing up and checking the box. It's doing the good works. And if you don't believe in God, do the universe's good works and believe in karma because whatever you send out will come back to you multiplied. Don't snitch on people. Don't call people out. Focus on you because every time you take your attention off of you and you look at everybody else and, and see what they're doing, it takes away from your power. It's called Power Versus Force. You want to get that book by David Hawkins. I highly suggest it. Step into your power. Power operates on its own. 
it doesn't need a counterforce. And when you step into your power, you give the permission for everybody around you to do the same. So we drove eight hours to be here today. I'm going to work right now. Now I'll go to work tomorrow, and I'll go to work Saturday. And in between, I will sprinkle in some love, and some joy, and some presence for my mom and share some gifts with her through my words and my passion of love for her, for the gift of life. I fully forgive her for walking out the door because I know I still have some of that anger inside of me. I am not perfect, nobody is. I love my mother. I appreciate the gift that she's given us, every one of us, regardless of what your mother did or didn't do for you. She is the gift. And I can guarantee you, a lot of us would not be where we are if it wasn't for our mother loving on us or leaving us or whooping our ass when we needed it because we all need a little bit of that. So don't do things halfway. Go all in on you. Get better than you were yesterday. Share some love along the way, some constructive criticism. And if somebody's constructive criticizing you, just take it as feedback. It's all it is. It's just feedback for you. But then get stronger. Then get wiser. Keep moving forward and finish what you start. Because that is what builds momentum. And momentum will build fulfillment once you find your purpose and lock your code. When you go to Amazon and pick up the book, Rise as One, The Spiritual Awakening on Amazon right now. And awaken to your truth. Stop playing the victim. Step into your power. And when it's all said and done together, we will rise as one. See you guys tomorrow. Have a blessed and fantastic Thursday. Go out there and rock it tonight.